Why programmers like Dirk modded? <laughs> because lights attract the bags. What's up everybody guys, welcome back to Neo Modern Touches and a tutorial. This time, we're gonna hack our body movement. What are we gonna make it it's like this? This is an interactive experience that focuses on human body movements and the, and the participants can experience the inconvenience of their uh, body movement. For example, they might feel like uh, their hands are not moving or they stop and come back to correct position. Some people will say, where's my hand? It could make such weird experience and I can make it from this tutorial. Technically, we extract technically we extract a certain pixel from the camera image and stop it before recombining. It may sound difficult, but it's really really easy to do with touch designer, which is the strongest interactive tool. And you can use touch design as well, so use the strong, right? So let's get started. I'm gonna dive into a touch designer and we'll see how it works at first. I'm gonna be quick to do that, so follow behind me. Closely, closely. Okay, let's delete all of them. I'm gonna add video devising, so you can use the camera, but it's I'm not gonna use this because I'm invisible. So instead of that, I'm gonna use a movie filing, and then I'm gonna choose the video that I want to uh, use. <clears throat> But it's for you, uh, I recommend you use the video devising because it's more uh, interactive and easier to see what uh, it happened. Uh, next, I'm gonna use the no. Uh, I'm gonna add the no comp. And next, I'm gonna add the noise, uh, noise top and go to the output. And I'm gonna select the noise. So I just uh, make the only noise and the exponent is 0.25 next uh, this and I'm gonna add composite and it has a error don't worry about it so I'm gonna add the cache uh, up and I'm gonna hook uh, into it and the cache type is 50 and output index minus 50 and I'm gonna uh, hook up into uh, up to comp uh, composite and the operation is inside luminance and I'm gonna change the uh, input order like this one and then finally I'm gonna add the over and then uh, I'm gonna move the this one this one and also for compit so there so this is the basic concept uh, of uh, to make experience. So the most important things is this two. The one is white and the black mask uh, extract the pixel that you want to like delay or freeze the top. And as long as it uh, it's, uh, has only white and uh, black, you can be a creative to make uh, anything you want. And the second one is a cache uh, that allow us to freeze uh, or like a delay frames of the top. Uh, the difference of the flame and they make uh, produce the uh, this <coughs> uh, top image. So that's why like delayed it. Uh, his you know uh, his face is going up, but it's his face is still there. Okay, and you can also uh, stop the flame uh, by using the cache. So I'm gonna show you uh, later. So. That's it. That is the basic, but it's kind of boring. So I'm gonna uh, like add more like filters, uh, like this one. And the next one I'm gonna make is uh, like a box cell. So uh, I'm gonna add the GL GLSL, uh, and I'm gonna uh, write the code. Before that, I'm gonna add the uh, uniform uh, name, which is like a variable. And the first one is Gulate go, go X. No, no, no. Here, uh, first line is X in the various state. Uh, next one is grid. Grid Y here is it. state. Last one is noise. So we can expose the, this uh, value uh, into this uh, editor. So let's write the code. Okay, first, uh, I'm gonna change 
I'm gonna change the name and also type with int uh, grid x second is uniform and int uh, grid one and the last one is uniform and this is uh, also back to no okay back to and noise so first uh, I'm gonna declare the new function uh, which is useful to make the uh, random value so load uh, random uh, zero or one uh, because uh, we want to make uh, the mask that has only uh, white or uh, black so I need to just uh, one zero or one and then uh, load uh, run random uh, equal black uh, sign dot v dot x y and the second argument is back to and this is the magic number so I don't uh, remember the this period okay and the multiply uh, this is also magic number when you uh, wrote uh, written, uh, when you've written the some GSL uh, <clears throat> codes, uh, you might know the magic number and also this random uh, function, which is really really uh, famous. And so many frag i dot so many uh, you know like mathematics uh, in here. So some people you know they don't like GSL GLSL because too many function and it's not obvious uh you know compared to the python or stuff like that but it's it's interesting <laughs> it's, it's interesting and last one is step uh the point y uh random bar and don't forget to add the semicolons column oh i forgot it. okay okay so i'm gonna add the uh, uh some code here so first of all the and then next uh equal uh, grid which is a uh, sampler value uh, <coughs> and also in uh, the y equal grid y and next back to grid size uh, equal to uh, one point del uh, divided by div x and second argument is zero point not one point del divided by div y and say next uh, back to random c Echo uh, grid code plus noise and float uh, random value echo bool mod that mean module uh, grid post uh, dot x plus grid post y y plus random value and uh, two point and this semi semicolon. Do you say semicolon or semicolon? I, I don't know which one is. Oh my gosh, it's not like that is one thing uh, that I want to do after that. Okay, I'm going to uh, rewrite. This is not in the value. This is black. Oh, I'm sorry about it. Fix it. Oh. And here, float finally, uh, random value equal. Uh, I'm going to use a random 0 or 1, uh, which we created uh, before that, uh, random seed. So finally, we're gonna declare color equal is black. And the question mark. Question vex three and the column vex three one point zero and semicolon. So this is uh, this is so clear. Uh, if it's black, the color is zero. It's false. Uh, the color is white. So last one vex four uh, one point zero. Yes. Think work. Oh, that's an error. But it's GSL is super smart because if you have like a if you have like bugs or problem uh in the GSS code, uh it shows uh where you uh made a mistake. So for example, here header project one, a uh, grid was undeclared identif identifier. So I'm gonna uh identify or address uh, where I uh, mistake. Oh yeah, I use a grid pose, but I didn't uh, declare a uh, grid pose. Easy fix, back uh, grid pose equal or BUV uh, grid, grid size. 
Yeah. So we can make the <clears throat> uh, randomized voxel like a filter and uh, no mask. So if you add the noise, uh, 10 times slot, and then I'm going to add the map. And this noise here is 5.3. And in the math, I'm going to change the range minus 1, uh, from minus 1 to 10 to minus 1 to 10. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> hold it. Oh, it's too far, sir. Not. I'm going to integer to the now. So, uh, yeah, like that. That's super cool, right? So I'm going to do the same things. And I'm going to add the component. No, composite. And it's inside of luminance and the complete V. So I can make the uh, this <clears throat> uh, like a box style uh, filter. So I'm going to add the cache. So this time, uh, I'm going to uh, freeze the frame. And to do that, I'm going to add the LFO. And I can make the colors in the LFO chart. Right? So I'm going to uh, export this value uh, to the cache top. And I'm going to turn off the active so I can uh, make the freeze that part a uh, freeze. And finally, I'm going to add the composite and the relation is over. So like this one, right? It's cool. It's cool. So, and also you can make another one about, I'm going <clears> to <throat> the over. And if you up to, uh, uh, into the over from the cache and okay. And also. In the noise, I'm gonna like have a time dot uh, seconds uh, multiply five, so I can mix the uh, filter. So finally, I'm gonna add another here and here. Okay, it's more complicated, right? So if you use uh, like a USB camera that your laptop has, uh, you can see the what's going on, and you can probably you can't control your body. Uh, in this uh, top, so that's cool. Okay, let's be more complex and artistic. I'm gonna make a elastic quality effect, which is like this. The tutorial video is right now, and I won't I won't explain details about this, but I'm gonna do the same thing. So if you want to know more detail, go to his channel and watch it. But do you think it's long to make other filter from the scratch? You just came my tutorial for the interactive experience. For those guys, I prepared the tox file and you can download from my GitHub page. So, and if you go to the <clears throat> uh, my GitHub page and that I pasted the link uh, in the description and you can download uh, this tox file elastically. And if you go to the code and download it, zip. And once you download it, and you need to extract your, the file, drag it into the touch zone like this. So I almost did the same thing uh, as his tutorial, but I changed the color uh, to make the mask uh, as we've as we've been uh, creating. Uh, only here, and I already changed it. Okay, I'm gonna add the new uh, top. Let me bring it down, and then. Uh, I'm gonna add the comp uh, composite and the population is uh, inside luminous and uh, I'm gonna bring uh, the network node to the uh, composition and I'm gonna change the order this one and I can make the mask as we did and I'm gonna add the cache one and I'm gonna duplicate it uh, because I want to make the the port uh, different uh, delays uh, to be uh, more complex and I'm gonna copy and paste 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 cool. the first one is cache size 5 and output index minus 5 and this one is cache is 15 output is minus 15 this one is, is 25 minus 25 and the fourth one is minus I guess minus, I guess 40 and minus 40. And I'm gonna composite uh, it and bring it, bring it. And I'm gonna <clears throat> hook up. Uh, and the operation should be over, but I wanna change the order. This one uh, should be the below S. So, and the 
fourth one uh, should be on the top. So I'm gonna click on the, this arrow and go up, go up, and next go up. Cache five uh, is uh, next to the cache X, and cache four should be uh, next to the cache three. So the order is six, five, four, three. Let's go. And I finally cut the composite, and I'm gonna bring the video and paste it. And the operation should be over. And then I'm gonna add the null. So I'm gonna add the null. Yep, this is it. It's super interesting, right? So in terms of the mask, uh, our goal was making a top that uh, has only white and black, like this one. If you can make the black and white mask, the possibility are endless. So be creative. And please post it on the Instagram with my mention. I placed the like button. I placed the like button. Thank you for watching my tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, I'm also on the Instagram, Twitter, and the TikTok. So uh, come say hi. That's all. Thank you.